Okay, House Bill 7688, Substitute A, passes, and that will go to the floor. Let's next take up House Bill 7075 by Representative Craven. We also have a Substitute A on this bill. Um, Mr. Manny, would you, counsel for the committee, would you agree changes to this bill to the committee, please? Yes, thank you, Chairman. Uh, 7075 is a, uh, an act relating to criminal offenses. Uh, the changes that were made was the original definition of binary trigger was deleted from the bill and a new, uh, more uh, expansive definition was added. Uh, that's on page one. Uh, on page two, the rapid fire device, that definition was three lines from lines 28 to 30. That was struck from the bill. Um, from the original bill. On page three, uh, section 1147-8.1, which was previously entitled Rapid Fire Device, um, has been renamed to Modification of Semi-Automatic Weapon. And what that section does is it delete, deleted the paragraphs A and B in the original bill and added uh, the language that's in there now. And, and just in summary, it shall be unlawful for any person within this state to modify any semi-automatic weapon such that it can shoot, is designed to shoot, or can readily be restored to shoot full automatic fire with a single pull or hold of the trigger. The possession of the modified semi-automatic weapon shall be evidence of guilty knowledge of the person having that modified weapon. The violation, the penalty is the same from one to 10 years, um, or not less than one to 10 years. Uh, and finally, there was a section added, um, section three, which is uh, Rhode Island General Law 1147.8 that deals with licensing or permits required to carry a pistol um, or possession of a machine gun. And that statute, uh, this three subsections, A, B, and C. We added subsection D, uh, which makes it unlawful for any person to possess a bump fire device, binary trigger, crank trigger, or any other device that when attached to a semi-automatic weapon allows full automatic fire. Uh, people who possess these items have 90 days from the enactment of this section to either sell, destroy, or otherwise remove these from the state of Rhode Island Violation of this section is not less than one, not more than 10 years. That language is consistent with the penalty in the prior section. Okay, we have a sub A in play for 7075. Mr. Chairman, move passage of the sub A and indefinite postponement of the underlying bill. Second. Okay, we have a second by uh, Chairwoman McEntee and uh, Chairman Craven. Discussion. Representative Corvese. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I certainly support the bill. Having said that, two things. Um, uh, one question and one comment. Uh, when you were explaining, and you did a fine job explaining the changes, by the way. Thank when you were uh, explaining the change on page one, lines 10 to 12, you said an expansion of the definition. I think you meant a clarification of the definition. That's correct. I apologize. No, it's more don't of a apologize. Correction. I, just, I, I wanted to make sure I was right, uh, that, I, that I wasn't wrong what I was hearing. That's uh, all. That's correct. It, 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 it's a clarification of it yes. as opposed to an expansion. Yes. And the second thing, I'd, I'd like to thank uh, the, uh, the committee and, and, uh, and those who worked on the bill for uh, giving a 90-day effective passage, uh, having it passed immediately on that day would make felonies of individuals who shouldn't be made felonies of before they get rid of the bump stocks or whatever they need to get rid of. So I think the 90 days is prudent. And of course, I do support the bill. Uh, Whip Flippy, you had caught um, a uh, mistake. I'm, I'm just gonna reiter reiterate my objections from the prior bill and I won't vote on this one either. I, I feel that we should be getting a testimony from people who are experienced uh, with what these devices mean. I just want to make sure that we're not doing something that's too broad. I, I support banning bump fire stocks. Um, I just think, again, we should have a hearing where experts can come in and just inform the committee that the definitions we're ascribing are proper. Thank you. 
Any further discussion? Okay, um, with Filippi, do you, uh, would you like a roll call vote on this as well? Yes, please. Madam Clerk, can we have a roll call vote, please? Yes. 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 Not voting. <laughs>